they're like, Jim, you're such a dynamic, vivacious, voluptuous chef. But what about healthy foods? Yeah, I don't care about them either. But if you're a parent, you have to pretend to be interested. So let's get cooking. I'm gonna show you how you can make fresh corn and peas. So let's follow along. First thing you do is you get some frozen peas. I like to do it like that. And then what you do is you gently place them in there. Get, a, get an action shot. Get an action shot. And then also, I put in frozen corn because I'm from the Midwest. Midwest representing. Midwest representing. Midwest representing. Midwest representing. Midwest representing. Um little background on me why I'm so good at making corn is probably because I'm from the Midwest and uh, I know I look like I'm from some exotic place but I'm a Midwesterner the heartland and I think corn has always been part of my life. Or as we called it, maize. But corn combined with peas was something that um, not many people would think of, but it's something that uh, I've been doing using a um, combination of yellow and green, which combined together makes uh, yellowish green. But I think that there's a flavor balance. There's something about, there's something about moving the corn and the peas together that um, I call a medley. So then I'll dump those in. And I find that the corn and the peas, the fact that they're frozen, really devoid of any kind of nutritional value combined. Here's some of my tricks. I like to add a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And then everyone's friend, salt. I don't know why this salt is pink. Maybe it's from the singer pink. Just give me one reason to believe. That that was that was me imitating her. It, it wasn't her. You might think, hey, he's probably friends with me. But I'm I haven't met her. We have similar haircuts, but so you just dab that together. Add a dab of water. Well, let's get cooking. Hang in there. Let's get cooking. Still water going in a pot. Let's get cooking. Cooking. And so then you come on over here, put this in the microwave for five minutes. Write that down. You might forget. You're not writing it down, are you? All right. Five. Oh, oh. Let's be cooking. Sometimes you can watch. You can watch. Beautiful. It's not like it's going to grow or anything. Let's get cooking. That's been my healthy snippet for let's get cooking it's about having a healthy balance and um i don't want people to be intimidated by corn i know that people are like oh corn mm. or they might be like peas woo, peas or they might say it in their own native tongue the peas and the corn are really the cornerstone of, of a healthy meal. But left on their own, they're just garbage. But put together, it's similar to the Reese's peanut butter cup. I mean, peanut butter is great and chocolate's great, but together they're like, wow. You know what I mean? I don't even know if they use real peanut butter. But the peas and the corn together. Because, because, because my daddy taught me Taught me good, so good Taught me very, very good That was fun, right? Let's get cooking. Hit the subscribe button down below and then 
We'll get back to cooking. Let's get cooking. That's how you cut, right? 